February 2021 marked the 20th anniversary of the sequencing of the human genome. The cost of this sequencing has decreased from $300 million over 15 months to less than $1,000 in under a day. These declines in cost and time requirements translate to increased accessibility. Combined with computational advances, researchers all over the world can now sequence and analyze genomic data with relative ease. Today, I'll talk about how the high-throughput sequencing workflow in MATLAB's bioinformatics toolbox can assist with such analyses. This video assumes some familiarity with sequence files and alignments, but as a refresher, FASTA is a text-based file format that stores a nucleotide sequence, usually a published reference. FASTQ files store sequence and read quality and are the typical format for sequencing data. SAM and BAM files are the result of nucleotide alignments. These extensions are an abbreviation for sequence alignment map and binary alignment map, respectively. Let's say we have sequencing data from a fly, Drosophila melanogaster. We'd like to align this data to the MCBI reference chromosome 4 in the MATLAB environment and visualize the results. First, I need to import my reference and sequencing files into MATLAB. I'll start with the reference. The bioinformatics toolbox function getgenbank allows for the import of FASTA files directly from the NCBI website. All that is necessary is the ascension number and an internet connection. If a file was stored on my computer, I could also use FASTA read to input it into my environment. For importing sequencing files, typically these can be imported with FASTQ read. However, MATLAB has some preloaded FASTQ files that I'll be using so you can follow along. Sometimes it is desirable to pre-process, such as filter or trim, sequencing samples before alignment. This can remove low-quality reads that may otherwise confound the alignment results. To visualize sample quality, CQC plot can be used to graphically display read quality and composition as a function of base pair. You can see the first 10 base pairs on the 5' prime end of both samples are generally lower in quality score. To clip these pairs off the 5' prime end, I can use the function seek trim. In addition to 5' prime and 3' prime end clippings, seek trim can also trim sequences where the running average base quality is below a certain number, or when a percentage of bases are lower than a certain quality. Its sister function, seek filter, can filter out reads that don't meet defined criteria such as length, mean quality scores, or a certain percentage of low quality bases. Next step is the read alignment, where I will finally align FASTQ reads to the FASTA reference file, resulting in a SAM alignment. Here I am using Bowtie 2, however the common alignment algorithms BWA and Bowtie are also available in the bioinformatics toolbox. After the alignment, I will sort my SAM file by the reference index of the alignment, as this increases computational performance. To visualize this data, I will create a biomap object. This object class in MATLAB contains data from my sequence read and alignment, including quality scores. It's a nice way to package all of this information in an interpretable way. There is a built-in app, Genomics Viewer, allowing for alignment visualization as well as other annotations, like GTF format. To view this alignment within the app, I must first convert my alignment to BAM format using the function write. Then, I can easily import my reference and alignment track and explore the information. I can zoom in and out and expect base pairs and change features such as coloring however I would like. Once I have created the object, I can also visualize a specific part of the alignment using the function getAlignment in a specific base pair range. This function returns a character array listing all the reads that have been aligned within a specific base pair range, and if there are none, will return an empty variable. So now we've seen an example of how the bioinformatics toolbox workflow can be used for a Drosophila melanogaster alignment and visualization. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you learned something. If you'd like more information, head over to mathworks.com to see more examples and documentation.